After the American decision to invade Iraq, it began. American and coalition forces attacked. On Iraq, all fell during this attack. Iraqi governorates, starting with his governorate, Basra, which remained resistant for 19 days. Completely after that, Dikr governorate was blocked. American forces stopped their advance and from. Then Karbala governorate, which became involved in clashes. Arriving to the capital, Baghdad. After American forces took control of. The capital, Baghdad, was able to control the provinces. Western and Northern. And this is how the forces became. America has complete control over Iraq. Except for one city, the forces could not. America has control over it. The city of Fallujah is located north of Baghdad. You and I will know today's story, but before no. Start the story. Like this video and subscribe. On the channel if you are not a subscriber. The events of our story begin today in the year 2003. A military force entered the city of Fallujah. The people of Fallujah did not like it, especially since they were senior officers. Those who were present in the city of Fallujah were. We agreed with the American forces not to enter anyone. American forces inside the city and in return. The forces did not enter Fallujah. The people of Fallujah did not enter. They will launch any resistance against them. And indeed America. She agreed to this offer or agreed. American or non-American forces do not enter. The city of Fallujah, but the people of Fallujah were surprised. On the morning of April 28, American forces, namely. Stationed in one of the primary schools inside. The city is the people of the area in which it is located. The school held a peaceful protest in front of this. The school or they asked the American forces for everything. Peace be upon him by leaving the city and not breaking. The agreement between us is an agreement why. You are trying to break the agreement, and the forces responded. The American protests are very violent. They killed 17 protesting people from the city's people. Fallujah rose at this time. Armed clashes between the two parties, and these were. The incident was the first spark of resistance. In Iraq, within a few weeks, everything became. People opposed to the occupation are even heading to Fallujah. Thousands of people fought and became the opposition. The American occupation is present inside Fallujah. This is the incident that happened. Even the families and civilians left. They go out and resist the occupation. I will tell you what this incident is. Just be patient for a while until I work. For you, the information is in order. This incident that occurred was the incident of the bride of four soldiers. American mercenaries kidnapped a bride from her groom. On his wedding night, after they kidnapped her, they assaulted her. Physical and sexual assault after this news arrived. The resistors entered into a vortex of anger and took action. An ambush for these four soldiers who were kidnapped. The bride and after the soldiers were caught. The four killed them, abused them, and tied them to cars. They took them all the streets of Fallujah and then took this. The bodies were hung on the pillars as a message from them. For all the world, anything that someone assaults. Our offer will be doomed. The resistance fighters conveyed this message to the Americans. Which aroused their anger and they held a conference at the same time. They summoned one of the Iraqi officials who. He had a relationship with Fallujah and the first time he entered. This conference official told him. We will wipe Fallujah from the face of it. The land because of this work done by the resistance fighters. This official replied, listen to these words. I will tell you if you wipe out Fallujah. Face of the earth, so prepare until you face the rest. The fallouts that will come out because what these four mercenary soldiers did does not satisfy anyone. An honorable Iraqi, the only solution you have now is. Cease fire and resolve this conflict completely. Rationally without using a single weapon. The conference was sitting. With them was American Governor Paul Bremer, who boycotted them. He said, give me a few minutes and I will get back to you. He withdrew from the conference and went alone. He made contact with Washington to inform the government. America in the speech that took place within the conference. After he completed the call, he returned to the conference and said. To the Iraqi official, we are currently able to coordinate. With senior officials on the withdrawal of forces. America from inside Fallujah and non-interference. American forces in Fallujah, but what we are asking for. From you, the American forces are withdrawing. From inside Fallujah without anyone being exposed to it. The humiliation faced by American forces. Inside Fallujah, I was not exposed to anything anywhere. Before imagining the strongest army in the world. And his entity and his destructive weapons ask for permission from. Until the resistance fighters leave the area, it is its occupier. Without anyone being exposed to them or harming them. The insult Americans were not accustomed to. They did not see such an insult, only Fallujah was important. The resistance that was present inside Fallujah agreed. On the decision to withdraw American forces without anything. 
no one is exposed to them under one condition set by the resistance. On the American forces, this condition was the same. Non-intervention of American forces in Fallujah. American forces accepted this offer. She withdrew from Fallujah without anyone attacking her. Fallujah remained under the command of the resistance fighters throughout. This period was without the intervention of American forces. It's final, I know now what you're going to say. This is the Battle of Fallujah that made us wait for this video. I don't know what to tell you, but I will say it's all. These events that I talked about now are just that. A prelude to the Second Battle of Fallujah, so as not to prolong it. You have to move on and stay focused while there is a battle ahead. The real Fallujah has not yet begun. Well, the important question is how did the Battle of Fallujah begin? Now I will answer this question and talk about events. In order during this period I came out. American forces from Fallujah began in groups. From the organization's forces enter Fallujah and this. The groups were affiliated with Abu Musab al-Zarqawi. When these groups affiliated with Abu Musab entered. Al-Zarqawi inside Fallujah became aware that. Fallujah's victory over American forces is. Al-Qaeda's victory over the Americans, not. Victory of the resistance fighters in Fallujah. On the Americans, and I do not want to complicate it with you. I LL talk. Briefly, so you can understand me about this period. In these escalations, it is Al-Qaeda. The one who defeated the Americans was. The first enemy. For the Americans in the world, it is Al-Qaeda. In this case, how can you come and say Al-Qaeda? He is the one who defeated the Americans or the organization. Al-Qaeda is the number one enemy of the Americans here. Newspapers and news began to spread. It says in the news and newspapers that publish it that it is. The American army was defeated by its first enemy. Which is Al-Qaeda. I mean, Al-Zarqawi's group. It is as if the United States of America has been defeated. In front of one of its worst enemies, Al-Qaeda. Al-Zarqawi is a huge insult to me. To the United States, it began to prepare and began to say. That's what we'll come back to. In Fallujah, without any conditions, the resistance began. This news spread throughout Europe, and there was pressure. Big on the American government and the House. White and the drums of war began to beat there in America, in the White House before it even attacks Iraq. They restore the prestige of the American army, considering this. The army is the strongest army in the world, so how is this? A group of resistance fighters insulting the states. United States of America and so America began to prepare. The Fallujah War five months ago because. They know how to access it after something happened. It will be easy and they also started announcing that they will. They return to Fallujah, but it is time for them to return. What the senior officials used to say. They were in Fallujah and wanted to know what was going on. What the American forces want from Fallujah. In exchange for their entry, America began to set conditions. But all of her conditions were difficult and it was her first condition. It is the exit of the resistance fighters from inside and after Fallujah. American forces enter Fallujah and begin. Search all the houses inside. Fallujah, as well as inspecting hospitals and mosques. What is inside it until they are sure to get out? All resistance forces from inside Fallujah and beyond. If they do not implement all these conditions, Fallujah will remain under control. Command of the American forces and of course what is needed. I tell you, the resistance rejected all the offers. Accused at this time were American forces. Ready because every time they made an offer to the people. Fallujah, the people of Fallujah, and the resistance fighters rejected. Every time they sent an offer to the resistance fighters. The resistance fighters rejected and increased their forces further. Until we reached the date of April 4, 2004. On this date, the Fallujah War began. The first. On April 4, 2004, the forces advanced. American forces with more than 2,000 soldiers. The Marine Infantry, which is called the Marines, is like. Fallujah was attempted by them until they stormed. The city, arresting and expelling the resistance fighters from. Then even they control it but the apples of the forces. The American resistance responded very violently. Which led to the loss of approximately a quarter of its forces. This attempt was considered a failed attempt. This attempt continued for more than three weeks. As a result, American forces withdrew from. Fallujah, by order of Bush, after it lost more than. 112, an American soldier during their failed attempt. By storming Fallujah. America returned to negotiations and deliberation. Time to learn more about Fallujah. And the resistors who exist inside it and at the same time. The time begins to prepare for the second battle of Fallujah. The American forces knew who. It is impossible for them to enter Fallujah without. Air support battle and American forces are facing. Iraqis face to face forget this thing because. It is impossible for American forces to. You win a battle like this inside Iraq, even if it is. 
the weapons they have are the most weapons. Advanced in the world, so it was the new plan. To attack Fallujah is to empty Fallujah of. Civilian people and after people are taken out, civilians from inside Fallujah are exterminated. Fallujah from the beginning of the day and actually the beginning of the forces. America brings out the civil people from within. Fallujah and they informed all the people of the city, they said. For them, Fallujah has now become an open battlefield. Anyone present will be exterminated and killed. You want to maintain your safety as Iraqi citizens, leave. Your homes, you and your families, and get out of Fallujah. Indeed, thousands of people began to leave their homes. And go out of Fallujah to preserve. Her safety and the safety of her family. The Mujahideen or resistance fighters are making announcements. Jihad with minarets and every mosque became available. In Fallujah, he grows up with jihad until they are able to survive. More groups of people to support them with this. The battle is more young than the city of Fallujah when. The call to prayer is given in the minarets, Hey Ali Jihad, Hey Ali. Jihad at this time has expired. The American forces identified it for the people and this was it. The time in the second half of Ramadan in 2004. The American forces prepared and even strengthened their forces. You can enter Fallujah, and the reinforcements this time were seven times greater than the previous time. There were 2,000 soldiers in the first battle. America entered the battle with 15,000 soldiers. These were 15,000 American soldiers. Facing 5,000 resistance members and residents. Those who are inside Fallujah at first glance. They thought that this battle would not even last long. Two days because there is no comparison between forces. It's fair if we count the number of soldiers, we'll see. For every person from the resistance against three soldiers from. American forces and this thing that. I'm talking about it now, it's just prime numbers, not to mention. About tanks, planes, and forbidden weapons. Internationally, they only used it in this battle. The Americans are victorious over the resistance fighters. We are in Fallujah. The important thing is that the forces started. American Air Force carried out indiscriminate bombing operations. In the city that claimed the lives of thousands of people. Civilians who were sitting in their homes. The first thing the resistance heroes encountered was. The cluster bombs that were falling on them. Like rain during a confrontation with forces. The American dropped more than 170 cluster containers. On the resistors, and this is the number I told you. This was the first week, but still. American forces failed to storm Fallujah. And enter the resistance because they are the heroes of the resistance. They found a solution to these bombs, and the solution was to dig. Narrow slit trenches, and these trenches contain. An earthen berm at the front of the trench so they can build it. The resistance forces detonate these bombs without saying anything. He intervened on them and the plan they made actually succeeded. The resistance forces continued fighting after they saw. American forces that bombs. The cluster did not do anything for the resistance. They entered into the second plan directly, which is. The use of asphyxiating gas is the gas that. US forces used it only by inhalation. In humans, it enters the lungs and stops the lungs from working. A person who breathes this gas dies. Directly, this is the gas that you used. American forces from forbidden gases. Internationally, but the heroes of the resistance also found a solution. To avoid this gas, the solution was very simple. To a degree they did not imagine. It was all that Americans needed. Resistance to avoid this gas is sugar. The melted one just puts it on the shamak that. They wear it and this way this gas does not enter. Toxins enter their bodies, despite all these pressures. On the resistance, the resistance did not stop. It continued to fight, but the American forces became bored. And tired of the long fight. So they decided on this. This time they should use white phosphorus to stop it. This battle is the one who knows no harm. White phosphorus on humans. White ones are bombs of mixing. Phosphorus with oxygen and the fusion of these. The two substances combined produce a waxy substance. Transparent, this waxy substance is transparent if dropped. On the human body, you first burn the skin. The human being, then his flesh and what remains of him. Change the bones and actually after the forces were used. American WP in the Battle of Fallujah. Hundreds of resistance heroes were martyred with this substance. Phosphorus, or despite this thing, is harmful to them. With them, the resistance did not stop and continued. There is a solution for the Americans, except that they are striking. Fallujah with chemicals because they used all. Only Fallujah suffers. He is Abu Musab al-Zarqawi. And Al-Qaeda. We have reached the end of our story for today. I hope you have. The story is for you with a picture that you liked if you liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to activate the bell button. The videos will be delivered to your doorstep. 
This is your brother, the narrator, Amar Adele from the Cinema Scope channel. I will see you with a new story.